Hello, I'm Ron Fartley. I'm Dr. Ryan. And this is the Fartley Farms Flavor Hour. And today we will be discussing the K. John's Classic Small Batch Habanero Pepper Sauce. The Fartley Farms Flavor Hour, presented by HotSauce.com. Nick John. Welcome back for another <laughs> review of a hot sauce. Uh, today, as we mentioned, we have K. John's. Habanero pepper sauce, small okay. batch. Uh, got this one at Flavor and Fire at the North Market here in Columbus. Um, K. John's, you probably know pretty well as kind of the hot sauce hero here in Columbus. Started in 1996. It is still kind of one of the bigger names in hot sauce here in Columbus. Clam Lube being another one. Appearance. We will first go with appearance here on this one. Uh, we will take a look, kind of swish it around a little bit, see how we like it. I mean, this reminds me a lot of the hot sauces that I tend to make. Uh, fairly liquidy and vinegary. You can still see a lot of the remnant of the pepper in there. A little bit of botulinum toxin floating around on top there. Right. I have no idea what that means. You're, you're the chemist between the two of us. It's the stuff that will kill you if you can it wrong. Ah, okay. It's bad. Is that botulism? Toxin. Toxin bad. <laughs> Toxins are bad. Yes. No, nah, uh, it looks like a... It really does look like the ones you make. No. Yep. Probably a lot of vinegar in there. They probably didn't boil it down too much. Giving this one a four out of five in terms of oh, appearance. Extract. Yeah. Five. Five looks out of five. Looks like a hot sauce. <laughs> aroma. Second, we'll take a look at the, or, well, yeah, take a look at the aroma. Just look uh, at that aroma. <laughs> Boy, this aroma Look sure at it. Looks mm. good. You can practically see it. It's so good. So, yeah, you get a lot of the heat in there uh, of the habanero. Is it like being maced? Uh, I don't think it's, it, no, it's definitely not that bad. Have you ever been maced? I've never been maced, so <laughs> it's possible, but I just don't know. I mean, you can smell the vinegar again. It, it feels yeah. very much like a, a small batch hot sauce. I'm getting 2017. <laughs> Vintage. Mm -hmm. That was a white vinegar from Kentucky. Getting real specific. March 2017. <laughs> Count it. <laughs> I have no way to verify. It smells really that, good, actually. So. <laughs> it smells like hot. I'm going to give it a three. I have a three as well. Just keep coming off. Texture. So we'll give ourselves a pour one out a little bit oh there. Oh, that didn't intend to. Okay. Get so much on there. Texture running. <laughs> so yeah, it's it, as liquidy. we mentioned the the vinegar that's in there. Uh, it's barely you know liquidy. It moves around. You can see part of the pepper kind of sitting on the spoon as you as you slosh it. Can you see the aroma? I can see the aroma so aroma. good. <laughs> I mean, texture-wise, for me, uh, it's... Uh, it's a hot sauce. Yeah, it's, it's a three. It's not a hot ketchup. <laughs> yeah, you can't... It's not a Dairy Queen Blizzard thing. I'm going to give that over. a four. That is saucy. Flavor. All right, so now we will do the tasting of this sauce. You're so we'll, a lot of heat. We'll get the heat and spice, and then we'll also get the flavor of the sauce. That's hotter than the last one. Yeah. And it doesn't have a, a fruity flavor to cover it up. <laughs> I mean, it it's hits good. you about the same spot. So that's oh, yeah. a pretty standard for a habanero flavor. Um, yeah, I mean, it, as you can tell, this one's down a little bit from what we I usually can, do. Know, I am getting the garlic. I had to look it up to make sure that's what it was. But <laughs> I am getting the garlic. <laughs> I think I taste... Garlic. Garlic. It is garlic. Uh, but yeah, I mean, th this is a pretty basic batch hot sauce. So you have your vinegar, you have your chili pepper, sugar, salt, garlic, black pepper, spices, and lemon extract. Um, honestly, I don't know if this one needs the the sugar part of it. I do like the garlic, though. Yeah, I mean, the, the flavors together are really good in this one. Um, I'm, I've enjoyed this one quite a bit as I've had it. So for me... Flavor-wise, a one through four, I'm giving it a four. And then for heat and spice, this one's probably up in the four or five range. 
Um, yeah, it's getting me. I'll go with a four on the heat as well. Originality. All right, so now we will take a look at originality. I mean, in terms of originality, this is, as I mentioned, a fairly basic sauce. Uh, out of five, I'm going to give it a two. I'm giving it a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> so one. Because it's basic. <laughs> so basic. It's amazing, though, like how a sauce can be very simple and very basic, but still tastes really good. Oh, it's good. It's just basic. Label. Uh, label. I I really like the clear labels, and so I you can too. see the sauce all the way through. Um, the kind of design of the front of it is pretty nice as well. For me, out of a five, the label gets a four. I'm giving it a three for lack of phonetic spelling for the uh, Kajans. So. Mm. Final. All right, so all things considered, here with the total tally now, I have a 40. 35. And Dr. Ryan with the 35. This one's still pretty good. It's also one that you can get for about five, six bucks. Um, you know what would make this taste better? What? If it was free. <laughs> Everything tastes better <laughs> when it's free. So there you go. The K. John's Small Batch Habanero Pepper Sauce. Save 40 for me, Ron Fartley. And Is it K. John's or K. John's? K. John's. Whatever you say. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you have not already. We thank you so much for watching these videos. You can find one each week as we review a new hot sauce. Thanks again and keep it spicy.